Welcome to the DEF CAM. On May 7, 2025, a significant aerial engagement occurred between the Pakistani and Indian Air Forces, resulting in the downing of at least two Indian Rafale fighter jets by Pakistani J-10C aircraft, equipped with PL-15E missiles. This event highlighted the effectiveness of integrated air combat systems and the evolving dynamics of modern aerial warfare. The Pakistani Air Force utilized its J-10C fighters, which are equipped with advanced active electronically scanned array radars and PL-15E beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles. The PL-15E missile, with a reported range of approximately 145 kilometers, employs a dual-pulse solid-fuel rocket motor and an active radar seeker for terminal guidance. These capabilities allow for engagements beyond detection range of multiple adversarial aircraft. Central to the success of this operation was the integration of airborne early warning and control systems. Pakistan's use of the Swedish Saab 2000 Ari and Chinese ZDK 03 AWACS provided comprehensive situational awareness, enabling the detection and tracking of Indian aircraft movements. These platforms facilitated real time data sharing and target acquisition, allowing J 10C pilots to engage targets without activating their own radars thus maintaining a low electronic signature. The Indian Rafale jets, despite being equipped with the Advanced Spectra Electronic Warfare Suite and Meteor missiles, were reportedly unable to detect the incoming PL-15E missiles in time to take evasive action. The combination of the J-10C's passive engagement strategy and the PL-15E's high speed and resistance to countermeasures contributed to the successful engagements. This incident underscores the importance of integrated air defense systems, real-time data sharing, and the role of advanced missile technology in modern air combat. It also highlights the shifting balance of aerial capabilities in the region and the need for continuous advancements in detection and countermeasure technologies. The engagement began with airborne early warning and control aircraft maintaining persistent surveillance over contested airspace. The Saab 2000 Ari and the Chinese Origin ZDK-03 were orbiting at altitudes that optimized their radar coverage and minimized ground clutter. Leveraging active phased array radar panels operating in the L-band spectrum for wide area detection. These systems were able to track low RCS objects beyond 400 kilometers, offering complete coverage of ingress corridors used by Indian strike aircraft. The Rafale formation, comprising three different aircraft in a staggered combat spread, approached from the southwest in high subsonic crews with low observable radar settings. Each Rafale relied on passive electronic support measures and intermittent radar pulses using its ASA radar for tactical situational awareness. Their Spectra self-protection suites emitted narrowband electronic countermeasures and attempted to mask emissions behind terrain masking and clutter zones. Despite the Rafale's passive profile, the Ari's multiple beam scanning and frequency hopping detection allowed it to detect transient reflections. These returns were processed using a time-differentiated Doppler algorithm that isolated high-speed vector anomalies inconsistent with civil air traffic or atmospheric returns. The Ari designated three correlated tracks and passed them over a secure datalink to a flight of J-10C aircraft operating in an offset patrol sector. The J-10C aircraft, running under full emission control, used passive infrared sensors and radar warning receivers to verify proximity. By this point, the flight paths of the Rafales were confirmed through triangulation, and the lead J-10C prepared for coordinated missile deployment using long-range targeting data. The PL-15E missile was pre-programmed with inertial mid-course guidance and supported by data link updates from the AWACS network. The first J-10C launched two PL-15E missiles from a range of approximately 120 kilometers. These missiles used a dual-stage burn profile, transitioning from high-impulse boost to efficient mid-course cruise. The missiles received continual vector corrections via airborne relay, refining their trajectory using active targeting solutions from the Ari platform and feedback from other sensor nodes. At this phase, the Rafale formation was alerted to incoming threats through passive detection of Doppler-shifted radar returns from the missile seekers. Spectra initiated chaff bursts and jamming streams across X and Ku bands. The PL-15E, equipped with a wide-spectrum monopulse seeker and a digital signal processor, filtered false returns and continued lock-on procedures using adaptive counter-countermeasure algorithms. One missile struck the rear Rafale, which had attempted a defensive break into a descending spiral. The PL-15E performed a final vector correction using control fins and hit the left impenage, causing structural disintegration. 
The second Rafale, climbing in an attempt to escape the engagement envelope, was targeted by the third PL-15E launched by the trailing J-10C. Its Spectra suite deployed directional jamming and defensive flares, but the missile homed using home on jam logic and struck the forward fuselage, causing a complete avionic shutdown and midair disintegration. Throughout the engagement, the J-10CS never activated their own fire control radars, ensuring that their signatures remained undetected by Indian ground-based air defense systems or airborne radar. The entire kill chain was executed via off-board sensors and re-timed data relays, demonstrating a shift from platform-centric to network-centric warfare. The role of airborne early warning was not limited to detection and targeting. The Ariai aircraft actively managed the electromagnetic battle space, coordinating frequency agility across Pakistani emitters, avoiding mutual interference, and selectively enabling jamming bursts against Indian radar modes suspected to be active. A secondary passive surveillance aircraft recorded the full electromagnetic spectrum for post-engagement analysis, ensuring that the Rafale's countermeasure protocols could be reverse-engineered for future threat modeling. Indian attempts to reinforce the air patrol were delayed due to persistent jamming of their uplink frequencies, coordinated through airborne and ground-based noise emitters. Pakistan's distributed electronic order of battle created spatially overlapping interference zones, making Indian command and control latency exceed real-time tactical thresholds. The operation's success rested on four technical pillars, early detection from L-band phased array radars, precision vectoring via multi-source data fusion, long-range active missiles with robust electronic resilience, and disciplined emissions control by strike assets. These pillars converge to neutralize a technologically advanced adversary through superior coordination, not sheer platform performance. The incident underscored the limitations of even high-end fighters like the Rafale when decoupled from a fully integrated battle space command infrastructure. The aircraft's superior sensors and electronic warfare suite were rendered insufficient against a cooperative network of passive sensors, third-party missile guidance, and persistent airborne surveillance. The kill probability was enhanced not by the missile alone, but by the clarity, redundancy, and speed of the information architecture supporting it. Post-engagement orbital reconnaissance confirmed three distinct wreckage sites within the Sharda sector, matching the last known vectors and transponder squawks. Spectral analysis of the debris fields revealed heat and explosive signatures consistent with proximity-fused missile warheads, validating the operational profile of the PL-15E. Debris recovery teams from Indian search and rescue operations were delayed due to residual airspace denial and sensor jamming in the region. This skirmish on May 7, 2025, redefined air combat thresholds in the region. It demonstrated that stealth, speed, and maneuverability must be matched with full-spectrum connectivity and resilient sensor fusion. The Pakistani Air Force's application of joint domain capabilities through layered platforms, electronic warfare synergy, and missile vector asymmetry reconfigured the tactical balance in subcontinental airspace. It established that future engagements would be won not by the aircraft visible in the sky, but by the data links and electromagnetic decisions made kilometers away and seconds ahead. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos.